and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Colorado Rockies <laughs> going up against the Chicago White Sox. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shopping. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Roy Oswald. What do we have on him? Well, he's got such great discipline in between starts, taking care of himself, making sure he... Next one off the plate inside. And that's ball two. And the pitch. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Definitely been known to drop a dress. Pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. The 1-0 from Satchel. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's in to score in position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. A free pass coming with nobody out and the runner at second. Looks like they're shooting for the double play. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. Those hitters get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what. There's one. On to first, double play. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for, really. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. The White Sox lead one. The wind of the pitch. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Leadoff man retired here in the second. And now they'll hustle That's out it. to check on him. Perfect. That was quite a Joe. shot he took as you Mauer. see him down on a knee. Joe Mauer, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. On the ground, right side. The throw to first, Out. and a couple of quick outs. He was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. and misses it's a strikeout so one left for Colorado here's a big power threat Gary Sheffield on the ground right side and it's through for a hit off to a good start with a lead off now Satchel comes to the plate there goes the runner the throw tag and he's out you know when you get Taka Moore. 
Murakami. Hit on the ground, might be two. Biggio over to second. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left deep right there but you got to get a pitch that you can handle the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four man that's a tough one to take on the four count ricky runs it's a pitch out throw save rudder goes up. this one lifted in the air left field and that will end the inning the Rockies strand one. Bradley Rutschman singing first overall pick out of Oregon State. What a college career he had. Brewers win the 2000. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Loud contact. On the ground. McGuire steps on the bag. One gone, bottom of the third inning. So up next, Hannes Wagner. He had a leadoff double at the bottom of the first. And now the right fielder, Al Kalon, runner at third. Wagner over at first, so going away. Ripped on a line, and this one could be extra bases. And that'll kick off the base of the wall. One runs in. Biggio with a relay home. Not in time. He's safe at the play. It's two zip. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. But allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. One out. Out to center. Means settles under this one. He makes the grab, two down. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2 0 ball game. You're watching the World Series on the show. McGuire. He's 0 for 1. Mark McGuire. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Winds and fires. Up the middle. Jeter handles. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep him from getting the shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it. Mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. So now the DH spot. Paul Canerco. He reached out a walk his first time. That's In for a strike. That's strike one. He did first with nobody out. The punch out there. And one out now. So he's down on just three pitches. Watch the first two and then chase down to the third. Yeah, not a very good at that. And here it comes. Here's the play out of dog. Throw to second. Nice, Two nice, nice. Successful stolen base attempts tonight. So I think this is where we probably see them change up their plan offensively. The running game just isn't working, and those are costly outs. So they're going to have to string together some hits and change things up a little bit. Looking strikeout. One error in the inning, but nothing more. 
we played four. And leading it off, Edgar Martinez. Line drive, caught! Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything. Outfielder, Ricky Henderson. To third. Rolls across the diamond, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Rockies are down quietly, and our score remains 2-1. Up the middle, Biggio gloves it to first, and he beats hey. it. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple. Oh! 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 It was smoked through the infield. Throw back in quickly. First and second down with nobody out. Now time is called here. It should coach on his way out to the mound. Roger out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Rockies' bullpen. John Smoltz gets the ball now. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Pitch and he just misses. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Good contact guy, good defender. All eyes on the double play. It's it, Lou. It, and a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. He came out of his mechanics there, typically. Lou Gehrig. This guy has turned into a beast. Three In there, and it's on one. Fastball, a slider, Three a splitter, a curve. You have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to... <laughs> Swings and misses. and I was moving in real time and it was, it was very uh, euphoric <laughs> yeah. a, a night that I'll never forget two outs, base is empty Paul Canerco swing at a ground ball, Biggio throws to first <laughs> Shy Sox held in check here as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead And a swing and a miss. Down. What the fuck? Now. Next for Colorado, Sammy Sosa. Outfield playing very deep. Anything over their heads. That one laced to center and a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. But you can turn a ball around and out of here. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. will take over here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball. He'll move it first. Colorado going with a pinch runner. Lou Brock. Digging in, Edgar Martinez. That's the ball. Throw to second, One and he's ball. safe. No Swings and chases a low one there. Next one misses, and now it's three and two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth, and that is bad. Runners on the move. Pitch misses. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough. This big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are a board. 
The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. And the righty deals. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. That's through there for a strike. Continues for him. He did know about that swing. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Whitey Fool. Now on a pitch out of the pen here. One of the better ones in the game, I'd say spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. Now with the plate, Lou Gehrig. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, right to the backstop. Sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Got it by a for the K. Well, oh, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, mowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the back to that ball, it's probably just a weak round ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous... Swing 
and a miss. Struck him out. Snuck the fastball by him. A strong showing from the Colorado bullpen. We're on the earth and the White Sox, too. Manuel Classe comes on now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. And the pitch. Classe, 25 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick. The left-hander up and throwing. And that one is lifted in the air. Sheffield settles under it and makes the grab. Late break just eats you up every time. Left field. Sheffield settles under it. He's got it. And that'll end the Nothing doing for the offense that time. Five, six, and seven will leave things off to the bottom of the night. It's the Rockies four and the White Sox two. Those two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Mariano Rivera. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Liner, base hit. So he gets on base, an elimination game, one at a time, right? And all changes things a little bit. And next is the designated hit. his arms extended and that's exactly what he did right there you don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over stays through the ball gets the law here's a rocket out to left and Ricky Henderson the grab and there's one down next pitch is popped up Rivera puts it away for the out. And there's two away. In. Hit on the ground to the right side. He steps on the bag. Third out. But some late inning heroics as this home run gets us even again. Great field. New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Craig Biggio. The pitch. That one missed. Well, not easy to bounce back. Tied to four. By drive, that's a base hit. Later on, when this game is over, anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. All. Oh. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh, yeah. 
next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre Deal two, and there he goes. Ball misses. Throw to second, and great jump. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly... Go-ahead run in scoring position. Nobody out. And the next pitch is way outside. In the air, out towards left center. Edmonds makes the play. Grounder tags at second, but now he won't try for third. Stays put with one away. The bat, number two, short Derek Judah. Jeter, the next to hit, takes ball one. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Pitch misses inside, and now 2-0. Oh. Man, you got to wonder with first base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? And now he'll ask for time and step out of the box. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Righty to the plate. Check swing. He went. Three and one. All tied up. And here in extra innings. center. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Throw home. Not inside. The run scores. And they've got the lead in extra innings. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want this base hit. It's now a Rivera back to work. There's a strike. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. No, oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death or two strikes. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, we see it a lot more these days. What's well, their last chance in this one? Lou Gehrig steps to the plate for the White Sox. Oh. And there's a strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. No, he held up. White Sox down the run. They're the home team trying to pull it out. That's off the mark. Two and one. He got close to the immaculate inning, and he just could.
Mitchell! 